Welcome back to Clockwork City. We're going to try to figure out what this chef needs because apparently he's making terrible stew and terrible stew is a no-no. Hey! I'm in search of a hot meal. Hard to come by here, yeah, I know. But mark my words, one day there'll be more than just the aroma of bubbling brass wafting out of slag town. People are going to come from far and wide to try what's making it. Oh, you're a cook then? Or a mud mixer. Might as well be the same thing most days. Oh. Getting ingredients that pass for edible is a challenge in Slagtown. Solus Ramathron's got real mushrooms he's been dangling in front of me, but he won't sell to the likes of us. Is there anything I could do to help? Really? Well, if you got me some fresh ones from the halls of regulation, that'd be a start. But they aren't much good like that. Oh. Solus has some trick to making them edible he keeps closely guarded. Maybe you could pilfer his secret recipe for me? Ooh, I can look into that. Mind yourself around Salas. He's a mean one with friends in high places. Oh. Helps him keep his monopoly on the mushroom trade. It won't take kindly to anyone poking around. So what's so special about these mushrooms? Oh, I reckon anything that can grow here is special. But from what I gather, they got real flavor. Might even be strong enough to take the edge off fabricant meat. You seem to know what you're doing. Why do you need Salas' secret recipe to prepare them? Well, I've tried, but no amount of boiling, chopping, or mashing did the trick. Those mushrooms are tougher than shoe leather and full of spores any way you dice them. Oh. Besides, they're hard enough to come by without me wasting them on trial and error. Are you certain you should be eating any of this stuff? Can't really say that any of the Tinkerer's creations were designed with edibility in mind, but there's only so much of that mushy food paste a person can eat in one lifetime. I was raised on this stuff and I can barely stand it. You were born in Clockwork City? Doesn't make me much of a wood elf, does it? All my parents used to talk about over dinner was the wild game from home. Oh. Everyone from outside gets the same look in their eye when talking about their favorite meal. It's why I took up cooking. Well, you've got your work cut out for you. Don't I know it. But if I can make the days a little easier for even one person, it'll be worth it. Aww. And if I only wind up making something so bad the paste is good by comparison, <laughs> well, that's a victory in a way, right? Yeah, I guess so. Any idea how I might learn this secret? Oh, he's the type to keep records on anything he considers worth remembering, especially if it can make him a profit. Mm. I'm sure he's got his notes tucked away in his office, maybe even under lock and key. What happens if I get caught? Uh, be best not to mention us, then. It wouldn't help your case being associated with Slagtowners. Oh. I'd hate to see you get in trouble on our account, but we're just scraping by, you understand? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, so this looks like a trespassing mission of some kind, so I best be off, and I don't even have my sneaky gear, so we're just going to hope for the best. I know I have the things that take away bounty. That's good. So it looks to me like Sella's secret recipe is tucked away in the crafting place, where you can craft anything and everything, including transmutation. Let's go into the Hall of Refined Techniques. Raynor, you let him walk all over you. <gasps> There's a difference between cordial and compliant. You told me to play nice with others. Now you complain. I don't have to listen to this. I'll finish exploring on my own. Oh, they're fighting. I'm so sorry, guys. Hopefully he's okay. I'll help you guys out when I'm done helping out the chef. And after I see if there's anything worth uh, taking in any of the backpacks I find around here. Okay, so I went upstairs, I've looted all the backpacks I can find, as well as... Oh, somebody's been murdering somebody. I did find a few of the locked chests. Oh, I need to steal this. It's just right here? You're just gonna leave it right out in the open? Oh, oh my goodness. In the event this ragu swill does not addle my wits, everything I need to remember to provide... Ooh, to preserve the fungus. Hmm... Begin with a simple salt water brine. Add two parts corrosive fabricant saliva or five parts brine. This will soften the minerals absorbed. Okay, once the fungus is pliable, cut a small incision into the cap along the top and knead in a bowl of lubricant. Work the oil into the caps and squeeze firmly until the spores have been evacuated. Transfer to a clean bowl of lubricant and repeat as necessary until the majority of spores have been removed. Return the fungus to the brine. Do not inhale the fumes given off by the mixture. Ooh. Seal in an alloy cauldron. I saw you take it. Don't deny it. Please. How could you? Someone help! Oh no, I shouldn't have been reading it. I shouldn't have been reading it. 
Oh my. Well, I should have some of those things in the bank, right? So I spent some more time looting some safe boxes and backpacks and whatnot. But now that we know how to make the mushrooms okay, we need to get them some actual mushrooms. It looks like I need to go to some, I don't know if it's going to be a delve, a cave, or what it's going to be. But we need to go there to get some iron stock yeah. mushrooms. So I'm just going to go to a nearby way shrine and way shrine over there. So it turns out that in our quest for mushrooms, we ended up right beside where one of the dailies I've already done was. Um, so I think we're going to quickly, oh my goodness, click on the right button, Biz. We're going to quickly take care of these Daedric incursions and take down the world boss before we find some mushrooms. All right, this is shared between everybody, so I have to find a fresh Daedric incursion site. Come on! Oh my goodness, I'm just like hoping. I just keep wandering into people who already found an active one. So I'm hoping that they continue to find active ones. Are you guys already done? Oh man. Maybe I should... I'm going to check one more spot and then I will go find the world boss. No? Really? I would really appreciate if this quest was easier to do. Okay, we're going to go take down that world boss because we don't want to miss out on a bunch of other people helping because I can't solo this world boss by myself. Looks like we did not miss out on the world boss, so we'll just hang out and maybe loot a couple barrels and things like that. Wonderful craft bag. <gasps> Ooh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, everybody, we can do this! Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Come on! Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Almost dead, almost dead! Yes! That's a win. That is a win. So now we just need to find one more Daedric incursion site and we can carry on to finding mushrooms. Oh, we found one. Let's go. All right. Whoa, come on, buddy. Whoa. Whatever you're about to do, I'm not going to let you do it. I'm going to defeat you first. Nice. We are already done our repeatable quest, so now we will go on our quest for mushrooms. Oy vey, this is uh, probably not a good idea to be jumping off cliffs. I have no idea which side do I need to be taking this bridge. I'm not sure. I'm just going to wander down and hope I don't end up too lost. Okay, this place is sketchy looking, and I'm not exactly sure if where I'm going right now is even going to be the right place. There's a lot of back totems. There's a lot of water, well, oil, because that's what water is here. Oh boy, I need to go that way. Oh, <gasps> it's a delve. It's totally a delve. Oh, did you hear me jumping into the oil? That was so, so gross. Okay, let's carry on, and of course I'm going to loot everything, and if I find a fishing hole, I'm going to stop and fish. Oh, look, it even has, like, oh. Ew, oil. Let's go, Factotum! Give me a Clockwork City furnishing recipe, please. Maybe? How do I get over there? Do I have to swim in the oil? Oh. Sauce, why are you making me swim in the oil? That's just gross. Happy I'm not a bird. Uh, anything good over there? Probably not. Oh, swimming in the oil. Ew. Oh, look at this. All right, so whenever there's a quest person right outside of a delve, it's going to be for inside that delve. So if I'm going in there to grab mushrooms, we might as well do the second quest here. So. By the eight, I swear I'll destroy every one of these blasted machines if I have to. What? Oh. Ah. Uh. Who would you be? Uh, Did the Clockwork Apostles send you? Why would the Apostles send me? Oh, 
Well, because... because the halls of regulation is breaking down. Hmm? Naturally. I sent a request for aids ages ago. I would have fixed things by now, but the repair factotums keep attacking me. They see anyone who enters as an intruder. I could protect you while you make repairs. Truly? Why, that's most excellent. Now, the very fate of Clockwork City's clean water supply rests in our hands, so we must act quickly. Okay. I know the locations of the machines in need of repairs, but we'll have to search around for specific parts. All right, well, let's get to it. My quest log is full. In our... Based on the schematics, I believe the vapor manifold and distillation initiator both need repairs. Okay. Easy enough for one of my talents. We just need a ventilation gear and a cleansing crystal. They should be fairly straightforward to find. Can you tell me more about the halls of regulation? Right. I suppose any structure as impressive as this would inspire questions. Mm -hmm. uh, ask them quickly. Time is of the essence, and the clockwork apostles aren't very lenient when it comes to failure. So, what are the halls of regulation? Perhaps you haven't noticed, but the water around here is filthier than the Merkmire swamps. <laughs> Take a sip from any stream or pool, and you'll get a mouthful of oil. That's where the halls of regulation comes into play. So it cleans the water. Collects, cleans, redistributes, does it all, really. Oh! It also creates water moisture in the air, producing a hospitable environment for natural life. I'm not sure if we would die of thirst or desiccation first were it to completely shut down. Oh, so why is the water cycle breaking down? I'm not sure, actually. My most prevailing theory is that the newcomers have overburdened the water cycle process which has led to some sort of malfunction. Ah! At this point, the factotums are doing more harm than good with their erratic behavior. And if we don't fix the malfunction? Perhaps the water cycle will shut down completely, but it's more likely that contaminants will pollute the drinking reserve. Oh. Which would make the water effectively poison. Oh! I'm sure you don't need me to spell out what a disaster that would create. So why are the Clockwork Apostles concerned? The Clockwork Apostles are a group of scholars dedicated to Sothaseel. They are the de facto rulers of Clockwork, given that their god of mysteries doesn't get out much. Naturally, they would be concerned that their drinking water is in danger. And they only sent you to fix the problem? Well, how is I? I mean, how were they supposed to know the factotums would malfunction and become aggressive? According to the schematics, they're designed to repair the halls of regulation, not defend it. Well, she seems there's something fishy going on about her. Can you tell me more about the items we need to collect? I most certainly can. I learned all about their functions before arriving. Which would you like to hear about first? Why do we need to collect a ventilation gear? These gears help run the vapor manifold, the central control for the humidifying processes of the halls of regulation. It seems that the malfunction is causing them to spin far too rapidly, grinding them down to an unusable state. So the gear will be ruined eventually? Of course not! I'll make the necessary repairs first and then replace the gear. It should go as smoothly as a piston in a reciprocating pneumatic cylinder. What about the cleansing crystal? It's the main source of arcane energy for the distillation initiator. Oh. The filtration system can only decontaminate the water so much. This ensures that water is safe for human consumption, a vitally important part of the distillation process. Does that mean the water isn't properly filtered now? The currently placed cleansing crystal is still active, but I don't believe that will be the case for very long. Which means we should make the necessary repairs, post-haste. Okay, okay, let's get inside the Halls of Regulation. Okay, so these factotums aren't going to try to murder me? Oh, a book about the water cycle and how it all works. Yes, I love trunks. I love trunks and that aren't stealing because it makes my life better. I kind of, I kind of miss when there was no actual justice system in ESO. You could just take everything. Recipes were easier to find, motif books. Everything was easier to find back then. Tread carefully. Repair factotums are crawling all over this place. Okay. And they're determined to defend these halls. Okay, so... Collect the cleansing crystal. That's what we're going to work on first, because that sounds like the gear. Well, whatever. It's still okay for a while. But this cleansing crystal, it could start poisoning everybody pretty quickly if we don't fix it. Oh boy. Hello, Kaguni Fabricant. Oh my! Look at that. There's a Sky Shark. Very nice. Very nice. Yes! 
Whoa, 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 we're not done yet. Are you guys done coming alive? Okay, grab the sky shark. Okay, so I think there is something in this room. Oh, look at that. We got a couple things in this room. Aha! Just what the distillation initiator needs. I'm glad we could find one in such good condition. What did I get? Oh, look, mushrooms. Mm, mushrooms. What is this thing? Oh, the cleansing crystal. Perfect. I have the cleansing crystal. Based on the schematics, I believe the vapor manifold and distillation initiator both need repair. Okay, you're not saying anything new, so we're just going to carry on. Looks like I want to go forward. I'm so happy we got a sky shard. Yay! Let's see what else is down these broken down halls. You guys should really repair this place in general. I'm thinking it needs a couple more repairs than what you currently think it does. Alright, now what? Is there anything that way? Not today. At least not for the quest we're on. So we'll just bypass that. Whoa! 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 Don't blow up! Don't blow up on me. That wouldn't be fun. Okay. Ooh. Oh no, there's totally... There's totally a chest in there. Whee! Ooh. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get out. I hope I can. Sorry, I'm cheating and I'm just like trying to break them open instead of using them. And I really should use them because my ledger domain is not fully leveled yet. And if you just break them open, that doesn't help level your ledger domain. I'm just so bad at picking blocks. Alright, and that was a whole lot of not good. So what about back here? There's nothing back here that I want to want to loop? Nope, doesn't look like it. Now I have to check everywhere behind these stupid pipes? This is going to be terrible. Okay. Maintenance log. Oh! Maintenance log just tells us that it's broken and confirms what she was telling us before. Alright. Now I want to collect the ventilation gear first. I feel like we might need to go all over this place in order to actually repair these things, so I might as well focus those down first. Whoa! Not okay. Not okay, buddy. Why don't you come alive at the same time? Of course you can. That would be too easy if you came alive at the same time. Oh, look at that. Radiant aura upgraded. Keeping my eye out for chests. Oh, like that one right there. Come on, jump. Chess, yay. Oh, I can't talk while I do these or else I'm even worse at them. There we go. And it was a simple chest, so we didn't get much for it. But at least we got something. Oh, all kinds of things here. All right. What do we have over here? For a here? moment there, I was worried that the factotums had whisked them all away. What a lucky find. Ventilation gear. Now I just need to check all the little corners for any more chests. Since we're in a delve and that's what you do. You check all the little corners for chests. If that's not what you do, you're kind of weird and I don't know what you do in a delve. You know, other than kill all the monsters. And do the quest. Ooh, intermediate. Yay. Let's see. And I always have Treasure Hunter on, on all my characters. I feel we have enough champion points that I can afford to make sure I have Treasure Hunter nowadays. That way I don't have to keep switching it back. A mall of unfathomable darkness. Now where? Where do we have to go to fix things? Repair the vapor manifold. All right, down this way. It looks like somebody else is already going to kill everything for me on the way, so that's handy. Yeah, just keep going, buddy. And we're going to check on the little corners for chests again. Let's go into the humidity chamber. Stand back while I make the necessary repairs. I should be done in but a moment. Okay. Is anything going to... I always feel like whenever somebody is repairing something, that things are going to hop out and try to kill me, and I need to defend them. 
Maybe not. Whoa! That actually worked? I just blasted! I mean, no worries. I meant to do that. Okay. I don't know if she's actually, you know, certified to be doing this. Okay, so maintenance log says it's kind of half broken. So, anything different now? now? We don't have time for dawdling. The distillation initiator still needs to be fixed after all. We just need to find a cleansing crystal. We already did find a cleansing crystal. Tell me where to go. All right, so I believe, oh my golly. I believe that this quest is a little bit broken because, ah, oh boy. Does it actually tell me where to go to repair it? I'm not sure if I found the distillation crystal too fast or if I just kind of skipped by that part of the quest. But it's not telling me anymore where to go. So I'm just going to have to explore and, oh, find more chests. So I went down to some area where I hadn't been. It looks like there's a doorway up here and it actually is a white quest marker. So I'm guessing that this, oh, look at that, another chest. This might be where we need to go for the quest. And maybe it's just because it's upstairs or something. It wasn't really telling me where I need to go. So, we figured it out with just a little tiny bit of wandering, so that's fine. Come on. What do we got going on here? Hurry up. Open the chest. Anything good? A live wire shield. I'm not exactly sure if that's any good or not. Is this an actual hallway? Yeah, that actually connects with somewhere. So, we're going to go up the ramp and see if that's where I can repair the distillation initiator. Because that's weird. I, I don't know. We are now upstairs, okay, with a bunch of dead things, so I'm assuming somebody else beat us here first. But we still have some dancing spiders we need to dance with. And of course, our chest checking all the time. I want to know if there's something over there. Ooh, because if this is a dead end, there's a good chance it Dead ends always give a good chance for a chest. Are you a dead end? No, you actually go somewhere. So we will leave you be. All right, off to repair the thing. Purification chamber. Now I just need to replace the crystal without causing irreversible damage. Okay. No problem. It worked? I mean, of course it worked. I knew what I was doing the entire time. Uh-huh. Sure you did. Here's another maintenance log. Saturated oil in need of resupply. Okay. Apparently it was stable. We have but one more task ahead. What? The geodic dynamo that fuels the galvanic engine needs to be replaced. However, it's located in the regulation chamber, which is protected by a guardian factotum. Oh. You'll have to fend it off if I'm to make repairs. The clockwork apostles didn't show you how to command the guardian? What? What a silly question. It's malfunctioning, of course. Just like the repair factotums. The apostles didn't even know there were issues when they sent me here for routine maintenance. Obviously, they weren't aware of the malfunctions. Then how come there's notes? But what if I have to destroy it? Oh, I'm certain you'll have to. But trust me when I say that Factotum is doing more harm than good. If we let it be, then it will just destroy all the repairs I've set into place. I'm sure of it. Not that I think we'll be given a choice. If you're certain... I'm very certain. If we don't fix the galvanic engine, then there's a strong possibility that the entire system will shut down. This is the most crucial repair yet. Okay. Please, you've trusted me this far. Just one more fix and we'll be in the clear. I'm not trusting her. I'm pretty sure this is super sketchy and something is about to go down. So I need to go back through the door I came in. All right. I might be able to go through this woo, weird area where it, whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing to me, Mr. Factotum? That was sketchy at best. I'm just gonna get you. I'm gonna try to go down this section of hallway. 
that I hadn't run down before, just because it's always good to explore the whole delve while you're there anyways. You never know when it'll be a shortcut. Or, if it's not a shortcut, other people probably don't take it, and you'll find more chests. Oh, hello! How are you? Oh, this doesn't even have, like, a metal floor. Oh! See? Look at that. It's a shortcut. We found a shortcut. This is very nice, which means they're pro Ow! There's probably not chests, but that's okay. Oh, there is a chest you know, back there! I think I'll just stay out here until you've dealt with our little friend. Just as a precaution. Oh, okay then. I really wish I would find more jewelry in chests because DLC jewelry is always difficult to find because there are no dolmens. And that's your main source of Overland jewelry drops. My goodness. See, talking makes me terrible at this. Let's get it open. Oh, painting of summer. Sturdy. Nice. I'm quite happy with that. Now I need to check for any others. All right, so she's afraid and going to stay outside while we deal with the factotum. This is probably not going to be good for us, but we'll check it out and see. Oh, remember, always check all the little nooks and crannies for chess. And maybe some things are going to want to fight you, so you might as well fight them and hope they drop design plans. Please, I've never found one. Please. Well, I got one in a mysterious reward box, but I didn't actually ever find one. Don't tell me the target's out of range. Hopefully that bug is just going to be with that little beetle fabricant and not everything because I would sure like to loot this. Whoa! Ow! I would sure like to loot this guy. Oh. How do I get through? Well, just... Ow! Yeah, there we go. So are you the dude I need to kill? Wow! That was... We were efficient and very quick. And I was able to loot him. Ooh, the dynamo reserve storage. Are there mushrooms down here? There's probably mushrooms down here. Okay, now we need to repair the engine. Do I need to repair it or is she going to come over here and help me repair it? I hope she comes over and helps. Oh, good, the traps go away. Yes, this certainly looks like the galvanic engine that I'm going to fix now. Okay. Right now. Here I go. And this goes here, and then, of course, this goes over here, and if I just put this here... Hey, look, she didn't blow anything up. It's fixed? It's fixed? Yes! My plan worked. The clockwork apostles will have to accept me now. What? I knew I didn't trust you. Can't believe we were actually able to do it. The halls of regulation are up and running again. Our repairs won't hold forever, but I should be able to maintain function in the meanwhile. I don't think it's too much to say that I'm truly a genius. What was the plan you mentioned? Oh, uh, there's absolutely no need to concern yourself about that. Okay. I assure you, all that matters is that the Brass Fortress will have water tonight because of us. Am I right? Here, you've been such a great help. You should be properly rewarded. Okay, then. Isn't there some other adventure you should be off to? I think I have the right to know what you were really up to. Oh, Tilly, why did you have to open your stupid mouth? Look, I was honest about the halls of regulation needing repair, and every danger I outlined was of immediate concern. However, I may have... Embellished my connections with the Apostles? Embellished in what way? Well, I suppose that I had a connection at all. What? When I arrived in Clockwork, I was immediately drawn to the Apostles. I knew they could help me strengthen not only my magic, but also my technical skills, which are already quite impressive. But they didn't let you join? Exactly so. It seems Dark Elf Blood runs a little deeper here than they'd like to admit. I was an outsider, and compared to many here, my magic is still weak at best. I'm sure my round ears also didn't help make an impression, but I was determined. So you came to the Halls of Regulation to prove yourself? I found the schematics in a public depository, and decided to research the mechanics in order to build upon my technical proficiency, perhaps even make some improvements. 
I thought it might give me the edge I needed to join the Apostles. So why didn't you just tell me that? Why lie? I really am sorry about that. I panicked when you showed up and thought you might inform the Apostles. I wanted at least a chance to make repairs. And it all worked out in the end. Hmm. Clockwork City still has water, and I have my edge. Are you sure you can maintain this place? Positive. I have a far better understanding of the mechanics now. And within a few weeks, I'll have a permanent repair. That's when I'll report my success to the Apostles. Thank you for helping me accomplish this. It truly means the world to me. Aww. Okay, well I guess that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now we're just keeping an eye out for any chests. And now I think we still have some mushrooms to get. Yes. Oh boy. Roll dodge. There we go. Now, where are these mushrooms? Oh boy. Let's go, let's go. Please don't say I'm gonna have to hop down there. I don't wanna go down there. Oh, I have to go down there. <gasps> Ooh, but a chest. See, I knew it was good that I came over here. Ew, down here is really, really gross. There's like creepy little spider guys all over the place. Oh, but there's chests. Oh my goodness, so many chests in this delve. I guess there's probably not very many people running around in this delve right now. It is pretty much out of the way. So I guess probably like almost all the chests are here. And it's taking me so long to get around that they're probably respawning in all their different random places as I carry on. Now, if only I was a little quicker at actually opening those things. You'd think I would be for how long I've played this game for. We're back at the Brass Fortress to turn my daily quest and to help out the chef because we know the secret and we have some mushrooms. Dangerous presence no longer detected. I've completed the contract. Verified. The Daedric incursions have been dealt with. Thank you for completing this task in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. Clockwork City is now safe because of your actions. Here is your reward. Crow touch Lockwork Coffer. Let's see if we got anything really cool in it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Um, no, no motif page, but I'm sure we will have time to do plenty of these daily quests. And I can't believe I don't have enough ornate items for the crow daily quest yet. But oh well. We're back in the outlaw's refuge. Oh, and I can barely fit through the door. I am a pretty tall high elf. And I actually have some business to do here with all the He's stealing I was doing. He? It's all right. Let it all out. I tried. I tried. You know, I think it's better on the way out. Oh. Hello. Hello again, friend. Don't mind the smell, just baking up a sort of clay souffle. Mm. I, uh, am really scraping the bottom of the ingredient barrel right now. Any luck with those mushrooms? I brought the mushrooms and Salas don't like you asked. That's great. Let's have a look, eh? Why, that slimy son of a script. He's been lying through his teeth. I could have been growing these mushrooms the whole time. Still, his pickling recipe is just what I needed to make use of them. Great work. <gasps> Deregulated mushroom stew. Look at that. Increased health recovery and magicka recovery. Uses some weird stuff like fish and imp stool and small game, but hey, recipe's better than nothing. I hate the way people look down on slag towners. Maybe it's not enough that I help feed these people something worth eating. Oh. We're always going to be struggling until the snooty folks on high see we have something to contribute. For instance? Produce something that doesn't just help us get by, but makes people up top take notice. I'd love to take something from my own land and give it its own slag town flair. We had some root liqueur that would have been perfect, but uh, we drank all we had. You know where I could find more? No. I can't imagine how odd something like that is to come by in Clockwork City. Maurice never did say how he came by a case of it. I'm not one to pry. Hmm. Couldn't hurt to do some asking around though, right? All right, well, I'll inquire about the root liqueur you're partial to. I really appreciate you volunteering for all this. Not many in Clockwork City who'd stop to spit on us down here, let alone do us a kindness. Oh, well, the loot is uh, this root liqueur a Valenwood delicacy? Oh, yes. Uncommon stuff. Created by Bosma ages ago in secret using Elden Root clippings. Oh. Blasphemous against the green pack, they say. Me? I don't think I've ever even seen the color green. Oh. Never had the stuff before I stumbled on Maurice's stash. What do you plan to do with it? Well, it's pretty sweet, you see, and almost syrupy as it is. 
Reckon it'd make a great base for marinade. Much better than boiler coolant, that much I'm certain. So, you mentioned Maurice got the root liqueur before. Who's he? Another slag like me. I'm sure you've seen him around and never noticed him. That's just how it goes for us. Ah. He's an ambitious sort. Always hoping to find a way out of his position down here. I cheer him up whenever his plans fall through. Have you asked him about finding more? That case he had stashed was a once-in-a-lifetime find, he said. He was gonna sell it to a buyer and leave this all behind, but the deal fell through. So we wound up drinking the whole thing as a pick-me-up. Foolish. Fun, but foolish. You really think your cooking will turn people's opinions around on Slagtown? When you put it like that, it does seem like a lot to take on. But hey, I don't think they could think any less of us as it is, so no harm in trying. Eh, that is true. So I'm assuming he's gonna hey, have- friend. Maybe send your friend to the guild traders. They traffic in all sorts. Not a bad idea. They wouldn't give us the time of day, but I bet they'd be eager to help a cutting figure such as yourself. Oh. I think I'm gonna take a stroll. A little smoky in here. No offense. I'll be here, airing the place out, if you have any luck with those guild traders. Oh, so maybe I need to talk to guild traders, and it looks like he's maybe gonna have a whole quest line of to give us recipes, but I have to deal with the fence and do a couple other things, so I think we'll carry on next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.